Zach has been in this location since 1995. We have a 5,000 square foot community where we showcase architectural and decorative products in the hospital. on the Miracle Renault, our car had broken down <gasps> and we were struggling to find our way to Vlux. Like, Ethan had to like video call me to show me lights while I was on the way because we were so late for the meeting. Ah, I'm so sorry guys, we were so late. So to say, let's say we are doing it, so then we have to have two strips. Yeah, you should have to try it. So we can change colour. But we don't advise for colour changing for this one because then you will be able to see uh, like one dot, one dot. It's, it's like there's a gap between each LED chip. So if you make it colour changing, then the gap will be very obvious. You have been a very patient boy. Hmm? Eventually, thankfully, I got a grab down. I made it! Ah! Okay, so the drama continues inside. Finally, at Vlux. I'm one and a half hours late, I'm so sorry. Yeah, hello, my recording room. Uh, $10,000 for the ceiling help. So this is our Trivers LED profile. Oh my gosh, so cool. So over here you can see that um, there's three different colour tones. Ooh. So this is the colour of the Kelvin. 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 This is the colour Hi, my name is Chanel. I'm from Vlux Lighting. So I joined the lighting industry because I feel that after two years of working from home, lighting control is really important to us, especially in terms of um, how we control how we want the space to be. For example, if I want it to be a lot cozier, I can dim down the lights to a very sunset color. Or if I want to keep my mind sharp while I'm working, I can make it to a cooler white. This one was, we were thinking of having this one for the, for the ex external balcony area. Okay, outside light? Yeah, but I think balcony? this is all the Italian design wall lights. Yeah. yeah. This one is very, it's like all um, waterproof, so totally suitable for outdoors. Uh, and this one you saw? In it's the walkway? Yeah. One key for one. This is also cool. This what's is that? What's that? This is shooting out and create a cold flight, you see? Oh my god, so nice. So this is one that is actually enough for the whole what way itself, which you switch on one itself. Like this is very bright lah. Yeah. Like this, they go warm now, warm it. So what is this cool sunset thing? Okay, I'll show you over here. Now it gets to a very cozy sunset color. Like this. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so you can, you can choose to use this um, option in your bed. So when it's dim, it's also change color at the same time? Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. And then, so instead of going to your traditional switch, like you know usually from your life to your traditional switch, and your traditional switch to your light. So now you don't need the traditional switches anymore. You just talk to this, and this receiver will talk to this. You can basically place this switch anywhere. Like you don't need any wiring, it's actually also. So yeah, totally maintenance. We are really excited to be working with Sarah on her new home. And we've just finished our first round of discussions and things are looking really good in terms of the kind of lights they've chosen. Yeah, they're going to be adopting our smart lighting solution which is really exciting because it will give them the flexibility to adjust the ambience of the space depending on how they want to use it. So thanks Sarah for choosing us and we are looking forward to seeing how your entire home turns out. You, can, you see the amount of debris that's in the house. 
By the way, this is Leon who's trying to hide behind me. So in case if you see a weird arm or leg sticking out, you know it's Leon. And since, you know, the hacking went on, we also took the opportunity to get rid of things like fixtures that we didn't want. Like somebody bought the chandelier, someone also took the oven, someone also took the hob. After taking out all these things, we started having discussions with Mahesh because it was time for him to start like wiring and lighting the whole house. So that is why we had to go to Vlux because we had to go to Vlux to make sure we chose the lights and we knew which lights were going to be smart lights or not smart um, so that Mahesh can do the correct wiring. For example, we saw these really nice like aluminium profile kind of like strip lights that are like embedded inside the walls. Yeah, so Ethan was thinking it would be really cool to have that like embedded in the carpentry and the dining area and kind of like have it extend like up towards the seating. I still don't know what it's going to look like. That is the level of trust I have with Ethan right now. I just imagine it's going to look nice. So we need to really move on plumbing works because we had a set of plumbing items that were not in but I don't think we could do it because it was still not in so week two um, hopefully we're going to get these items in like and delivered by the end of this week. We also finally got the delivery from Miko for just the concealed oh, items. Nice. So the concealed system came in together with the flushing point, yeah, which would be really important for us to start our plumbing work. So thank you, Wiggle, for our concealed system. Okay, guys, so the news is that we got our concealed system delivered. I ordered them from Taobao. That took about 10 days to come. But thankfully, it's here now so that Monday the plumbing will be I just want to show you what I didn't realize was needed to be ordered. So what I didn't realize is that there's this kind of concealed thing that's going to go inside the wall that you need to like hang the wall in. So initially, the micro cement was supposed to go first and then you put the plumbing fixtures, right? So fixtures like these kinds of things are what you visibly see on the outside, right? So this is going to be the... All these were supposed to only go to the end and I didn't realize you needed the concealed system. So, So this is the stuff that I needed. I thought that we didn't need it. So look at this! It's cool. <laughs> but I'm gonna write to them and ask them to send it. Because these are external fixtures, so they can still be in a sense buika gewo because this can they can give me a new one, I think. I'm gonna ask them. Yeah. It's not dirt, it's not easy to rub away. This is a floor for sure. But the color! Look at the color! So good! Good color, right? Yeah, just in the QC a bit, not good luck. Alright, that's all I have. Bye! Wednesday, and we're supposed to finish a bunch of plumbing work today as well as um, complete the wiring. Uh, we also have people who are checking out if we can change the glass, um, the balcony doors because they're a little bit warped. They're yeah, probably about 30 plus years old. So yeah, you hear all the hacking noise because it's still going on. Uh, I'll show you, it's just behind me. So through the hacking, we were supposed to remove this little wall that was blocking the way for us to make like this double vanity space, right? That we wanted in the master bath. Only to find out that that wall goes up all the way beyond the false ceiling, like really high. And so you have to like hack the whole wall. You can't just hack like up to the ceiling height and ignore the part that's above the false ceiling because that part will not have a support and might come like crashing down on you one day, right? So you can't like hack only the bottom and then leave the top. You have to hack everything. The previous owners had installed carpentry above the false ceiling, which was actually gonna be really useful storage space for like you know luggages or like winter clothes. We've now lost that storage space because and those entire frames, like those carpentry frames, had to be just like knocked out. Yeah and removed. Okay, goodbye oh, ceiling. Goodbye. Okay. Yes. They're destroying my room. So yes, goodbye carpentry frame, sad but true. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a loss of some storage space. I mean, I'm not like crying over it, but it would have been nice if we could have had retained it somehow. So we got the aircon guys to come down and we found out that 
we have two systems, a system 2, a Fujitsu, which is for the master room as well as the living, and then we have a system 4, which has the three other bedrooms, sorry, the two rooms, study, and then one more in like the other side, we're near to the dining area. So we looked at it and I know I had tested all the aircons when we came in and I felt that the Fujitsu in the master bedroom was a bit underpowered. So the aircon guy came and he took measurements of the whole room because you need to measure the volume of the room and then choose the appropriate aircon, right? The right BTU. And our aircon in the master was underpowered. So because it's a set, right? And also I felt like the Fujitsu one outside looked quite old and retro. We decided to just change that one system, even though the system for condenser wasn't in the best condition, but the aircon units were still working fine. So the guy advised us and said, you know, if it spoils, then you change now because it's quite costly to change all the aircon at one shot. So yeah, we're just staging it, you know, like one at a time. We don't want to like blow our expenses all like up front right now. Another thing was that I thought we could reuse the bathtub because on like the visualizations, it looks as if it like it was oh 1.7 meters here and 1.7 meters there, but actually it wasn't. The bathtub was like 17 something, and the area where we're gonna put like you know the main shower area it was only 167, so we couldn't reuse our bathtub. Um, sadly, had to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, it's really it was actually a really nice bathtub. I'm kind of like where. So speaking of bathtubs, I had been looking to see if I could get one from Taobao. In fact, I've been looking to see if I can get a lot of things from Taobao. So stay tuned if you want to see what else I'm getting on Taobao because it will be in our next episode and I will share with you a bit more of what we bought. Until then, this has been Sarah X Miracle on the Miracle Renault. Do subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the series. See you guys! Shun me, right? Just let me have my bathtub. So after week two, um, we realized that Neon! Next week on our Miracle Renault, Hey everyone, welcome back to week 3 of the Miracle Renault.